For this demonstration, you and each table of students will need a column container, water, a plate, a set of jars of different color sand containing different stones to represent different rock and fossil types, and a model of the rock layers containing real fossils. Have students follow along with you as you demonstrate in front of the class. Place the empty column on the plate and remove the lid. Pour the contents of the water bottle into the column. It should be about halfway full. Take the jar of sand labeled 1 and pour it into the column. Tell students to note how the sand settles to the bottom of the column in a horizontal layer. This is how real sedimentary rocks form. Help the students add the other jars of sand, in order. Make sure they do not disturb or shake the column in between pores. When the columns are finished, demonstrate that its layers match up with the layers of the model of the rock layers with real fossils. For this demonstration, you will need a large picture of a building. Hold the picture of the building up in front of the class. Tell the students that a construction worker tells you that the bottom of the building was built 15 years ago and the top floor of the building was built 10 years ago, but doesn't tell you when the middle floors were built. However, we know that the middle floors are between 10 and 15 years old. Knowing exact ages of rock layers, as in the bottom and top floors, is called absolute dating. Not knowing exact ages, but knowing a range of ages for rock layers, as with the middle floors, is called relative dating. For the first part of this demonstration, you and the students will need the top picture on handout 1, a picture of layers in the Grand Canyon. Drag your finger from point A to point B. Tell students we can correlate the points on this layer because they are connected. Then drag your finger from point B to point C. Tell students we can correlate these layers because they look similar and are separated only a short distance. For the next part of the demonstration, you and students will need handout number two. Tell students that the first diagram on the sheet is similar to points A and B in the Grand Canyon picture, and that the second diagram is similar to points B and C. In the third diagram, although the layers look similar, they cannot be correlated because they are separated over too long of a distance. In the fourth diagram, the layers can be correlated in spite of the long distance because the layers look similar and contain the same index fossils. For this demonstration, you and each pair of students will need three National Park stratigraphic columns, two paper clips, and the bottom two diagrams on handout number one.
tells students to look on the back of the columns and put them in their corresponding locations on the map. Then, have them match up the columns with their corresponding National Park stratigraphic columns on the other diagram. They should paperclip the columns together where they overlap. Tell them they have just created a geologic column for the entire southwestern United States. For this demonstration, you and each student will need a set of three stratigraphic sequences, and a complete stratigraphic column compiled from the sequences. Tell students to put the columns in A, B, C order from left to right. Have them match up parts of each column where similar rock types and fossils exist. Feel free to help students out, as this part can be tricky. After they finish, hand out the complete stratigraphic column so that they can see how they did.